So what you are about to watch is my spoilery reaction vlog to The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. There are spoilers abound. <laughs> there is a lot of nerves and excitement and then also subsequently tears. So if you're interested, stay tuned because this was a wild ride. <laughs> and it's The Burning God, man. R.F. Kuang, she kills it. <laughs> There's not much more than I can say. Let's roll the tape. This is not the way I intended to start out this vlog. This is not the way I intended at all to start out this video. I have been intending to vlog my experience reading The Burning God basically, I don't know, since forever. Like, it just seemed like I had to vlog my experience because I've been so anticipating the release. So Indigo has thrown me for a loop and it is currently November 16th, a day before that The Burning God is supposed to come out and I just got a package. My pre-order is in and uh, i am kind of been thrown for a loop, but without any further ado, I guess I'm going to unbox. No, <laughs> this isn't working very well. I'm so excited. And for context, Sloppy War series is one of my all time favorite ongoing series. And I'm very confident that it's going to become one of my favorite all time series when I read the conclusion. I have loved the series since 2018. They've both been, both the Poppy War and the Dragon Republic have been favorites of the year. I reread them via audio in the past few months in preparation for The Burning God. I am ready to get this into my hands. I'm so excited. I wanted my intro to be nice and good. I was going to update something probably later on tonight and say my plans for the vlog, but I don't know what my plans are now, so we'll have to update that later. But uh, I have the burning god in my hands. Oh my god, I just saw like my reflection. This is so weird. I've been thinking about this book for so long. I've been having a countdown on my phone for so long because I'm so excited to get it in my hands. It is shorter than I expected, actually. It's 614 pages, which I think that means that... um. The Dragon Republic is technically longer, so that's interesting, but uh, oh my god, <laughs> I have it in my hand. I don't know if I'm gonna get to read it today though, honestly. I have a lot of things to do and I also have to go to work, um, but we'll see. Today is officially Burning God Day. It is November 17th and I am now officially going to be starting The Burning God. It's just so pretty. I keep getting distracted by it. It's so weird to have this in my hands after thinking about it for so long. This morning, though, I have been, like, dragging my feet on uh, actually starting to read it. I don't know if this is just a me thing or a nervous tick that I have, but I um, pretty often will get really excited for a thing and then the thing releases and then I'm like, oh shit, I'm nervous. Oh, I don't know. And that's kind of the feeling I got a little bit <laughs> today, but I have faith in RF Kuang. I have listened to a lot of talks and things that she has done about the series in general, about writing The Burning God, and I have faith in her. I really think she's going to do a fantastic job. So we're going to start it. I don't know what the plan for today is. I'm just going to read as much as I can without rushing. The goal is to have this done by tomorrow. I <laughs> have only read the prologue and I'm already so excited. Ooh, it starts off with a bang. And I should have mentioned earlier, like I always should have, but I always forget. This is going to be filled with spoilers. This is me specifically reacting and vlogging The Burning God. Me reading The Burning God. It's not like a reading vlog where I do other things. This is basically going to be dedicated to the reading vlog, if that wasn't clear before, but ooh, I got very excited. We're going to get Jiang again, which I'm excited for, and a little bit more context into Daji, and which was interesting. And then also Riga, who might end up being another big bad that Rin has to face. So oh, it'll be interesting, and I'm excited. I have now officially read 70 pages of The Burning God, and you'd think Ren could catch a break, but of course, I'd be reading a different series if that was. Something that has struck me so much is still the politicking. 
Like every time you think the tide is going to turn a little bit in Rin's favor, like the thing she was promised at the end of the Dragon Republic, like she'll have a seat at the table. She doesn't. And it's so fucking frustrating. Also, can't get over the fact that she has lost her hand. Wild. Um, yeah, a lot has happened in 70 pages. And I'm wondering how all of this is going to get completed in the 600 pages. But then again, the popular specifically took a large chunk of time uh, and did it within like 550 pages and it was really well done so again I have faith um it's hard to say that you're enjoying it but I love like Rin's comebacks and how she's like truly taking her fate into her own hands because of course in the past book she hasn't and that is severely bitter in the ass but um yeah it's interesting more politicking, more old men who refuse to listen to her. And I just got to the part where she is now a general and will be marching on Rooster Province. So I'm interested to see how that goes. And it looks like she'll be facing Neja sooner rather than later, possibly, or at least Neja's contingent. So we'll see. I am now 200 pages into the story. Excuse my hair. It is a mess. And I'm making lunch and still currently reading and I have no idea how the book is going to go. I think I've officially just hit part two and Rin is just getting hit after hit after hit and like I don't know how this story is going to end. It's not going at all in the way I expected other than there's now I'm thinking there's going to be like a fight on the plane of like shaman hood and not so much army 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 stuff but Katai is gone which was like heartbreaking to experience she has been apparently captured, or Dodgy's doing something with her, and that's wild. And we got our first actual um, entry of from Nidja. And now Nidja can't be killed. So that's wild. Yeah, I have no idea. I keep reading and going like, what? Like they can't have one thing. Rin is constantly getting betrayed, like all the time. How? Like. How can one person get betrayed so much? So, good morning. I don't think I read anything past I last updated. So things haven't gone exactly to plan. I had to do some things, had to go out. And then when it came to read at like nighttime, like when I was in bed, I was exhausted. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to bed. And so I did it. Now it's the morning, and I plan to finish The Burning God today. I think I have just under 400 pages, and I'm going to dedicate myself. Go through it at a good pace, though. I do like the way that I paced out reading um, yesterday. I read a good chunk of it, but I wasn't, like, rushing, or I would get to certain pages, kind of stop, go on my phone, do whatever, and kind of let it sink in. Because I've been guilty of, in the past of reading something too quickly and then not exactly remembering everything that goes down. But yeah, soon I will start reading. My room is a mess as I'm trying to hide it with this <laughs> vlog, this portion. Um, but I'll check in, I guess, when I start reading again. I have read, I think... Just over 50 pages in the last little bit and I have experienced every emotion I think possible we I just witnessed Rin get put into the Chu Creek and then get taken out because Dodge is an ass we have reunited with Jiang and it's like really complicated and weird but it's really nice to see him back and then Rin uh, has just rescued Katai and gotten, we've gotten to see Neja a little bit. And uh, feelings. A lot of feelings. <laughs> like I feel in it. Like I feel like the stride is being taken and like really good. I don't know <laughs> if that's dumb, but. It just occurred to me that um, we've had no word on Chagan and like the um, Ketraids. And their peoples. I feel like he's possibly going to come into the fold maybe at the end there but it just popped into my head and I'm 
280 pages in, we've had no word of him, of them, of their conflict, so we'll see. I forgot that I had a tripod that can actually, like, balance. <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. Can we tell that I don't vlog? Okay, that was a nightmare. <laughs> anyway, I've got it working, and I've got two hands free. I am, I'm taking a little bit of a break of my reading. I think in total I've read, like, 300 300 120 pages ish and I'm really liking it but also getting really concerned I mean she's literally going insane right and I'm, I really fear for the end and Rin's final path I think it's going to be brutal I think it's gonna hurt a lot and I'm like already nervous something that I appreciate so much about RF Kuang is how well thought out the series is in terms of consequences of actions and consequences of war but because she writes so well this book is fucking brutal the brutality of what they face and just the like the brutality of war is really well described in here and it's something i appreciate because war is, shouldn't be taken lightly the atrocity that war creates and does should not be taken lightly and so I really appreciate that she um that she doesn't take it lightly and that she really displays her themes well. I have just realized that for the duration of this vlog I have not looked nice once but we're not here to look at me we're here to listen to me probably cry about the burning god in, <laughs> in a short amount of time. I'm now on page 400 and shit just got real but it was like a second of yes Chagun's back and it's like oh great Chagun and, and Rin are gonna be at odds again then it was like oh yeah let's get Riga and it's like oh no Riga's a fucking monster like utterly and I guess I didn't instantly realize how much of Neja's fleet went down when the trifecta was taken down but like now they're possibly going to win a war and it's like the final battle is coming up. We've got 200 ish pages left, and um, wow, it's finally coming to a head. Nedja and Rin are probably going to like kill each other in a fiery battle, and I just realized that I should be getting the chapters for because I pre ordered the book, so I should be getting those extra chapters, and maybe I'll react to them in this vlog as well probably just going to bring me more pain because we've seen Neja basically admit that he like loved her and it hurts so I'm currently 120 pages out from the end of uh the Dragon Republic and I'm getting very nervous <laughs> that could be the theme of this entire vlog um basically I'm gotten to the part where they're doing the big battle and I think things are going to go like incredibly wrong Rebecca Kwong, my hair is a mess, please excuse us, but Rebecca Kwong has been setting up for the fact that, one minute, there's, they've been setting up for, like, this big battle, that, um, and Ned just got stuff up his sleeves, and I think everything's going to go very, very wrong, and I'm nervous. I also don't think the battle is going to be the final thing, the final obstacle, just a sneaking suspicion. There's going to be some other things at the end of the book. That will have to get wrapped up. It's not like, oh, they emerge victorious. Rin dies. The end. There's definitely got to be other stuff. Like, can't fill a battle for 120 pages. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I think Garf Kwang's trying to put me in my grave. <laughs> she's, she's truly trying to kill me. I have gotten to page 525. Both Neja and uh, Rin have fought twice. And have let each other walk away fucking twice <laughs> and like the amount of emotion wrapped up into the two of them are like slowly driving me insane and I have under 100 pages left I keep wondering when that um when that scene that RF Kwong teased months ago is coming where I think it was like Rin and Katai in a forest and like Neja was talking to them on the eve of battle now I don't know if that got cut or what but like, just a conversation before they go and destroy each other. Every time I keep thinking it's the final, the final battle, the final push. 
it's not. And now there's revelations that the Asperians might be right or their God might also be a thing. Like this shit is wild, wild. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Sorry for the lighting for the last 15 pages, but I guess we'll look at my reaction. You've got to be joking. I'll have more thoughts. I'll have more thoughts later in better lighting. But damn, I didn't think there would be a book where Neja lives and Katai dies. That's the cruelty. But Ren made a good choice in the end. Damn. I'll have some thoughts later on. It has been a few days since I completed The Burning God, and I have a lot of thoughts and feelings, but to be honest, when I finished it, I nearly immediately put it out of my brain because I just would know how to function and cope with the ending because it, it hurts, it's painful, but I also think it's incredibly fitting for the series as a whole. I like the ending, and I like the fact that it... I guess wasn't good like they technically had won but them winning was truly only the beginning and you could see how poorly Rin was cut out to be a leader she was meant to be a warrior a fighter maybe a conqueror but she was never meant to lead and you could see how poorly she was doing and how her paranoia and her trauma was really rearing like its ugly head and making her an incapable or like non-functioning human and it's really really sad and upsetting to watch her descent into insanity but I love the fact that like her saving grace her saving moment was to protect Katai their relationship has been like the, one of the cornerstones of this entire trilogy and watching them fight and separate but come together again again and again has been very emotional and deeply impactful and the fact that she was willing almost no she was fully willing to destroy the world destroy the Hesperians and conquer and go on another war when Nikon wouldn't have survived it but she stopped because Katai knew what was right. Katai knew what that they like had to do and it just it hurts. It hurts to reflect on and I think the more shocking 
part of this story was that Katai never meant to survive, but I guess thinking about it in retrospect, it does make sense. He would stick it out through the end. He loves Rin as well, and he it's fitting for them, I guess, to do this together. I don't know if you could tell when doing my little reaction vlog part, I started laughing at one point at the very end when Naja was, he called Rin like something like that fucking bitch because she left him in all the mess. I thought it was so funny because the boy's gotten himself screwed and it's one final fuck you from Rin. She's like, you know what? You've got to deal with all this garbage. You can do it. <laughs> and I really liked that. I thought it was really, really funny. Like, trademark textbook Rin final humor, and I appreciated it. I love this series. There's no doubt about it. It's definitely an all-time favorite series, and as brutal as it can be, the experience, I genuinely enjoyed experiencing these stories and discovering what RF Kwong had in store. I'm so excited to follow her career and see what she does in the future. But I guess for now, that's it. Oh, wait, not quite. I also read the the excerpts, The Drowning Faith, that were sent to me, and those also hit me in the fucking gut, as they do. And I'm just going to say justified in the fact that although, like, Ren and Neja never really were a thing, they both did love each other, and I'm just going to take comfort from the fact that I was right. <laughs> and it was actually a thing. And I also should just realize in when it comes to adult fantasy, if there's a relationship that I am deeply invested in, just know that they won't end up together because that has been my luck and fate over the past bit. But I guess that's it for the vlog. I hope you enjoy. It's hard to always reflect on a finale for me because there's so much leading up to it. There's so much in terms of expectations. How much is it is me just enjoying it because I'm so excited for it. But when I take a step back and I've taken my days to experience or like reflect on the experience, I do really like it and I do really think that it's great. So I guess now I just have to wait for Art of Kwong's next book to be announced and I will happily await the day. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!